Hello everyone. In this short video, we'll discuss how to you, you can use the punch in, punch out functionality that is available in the Zuber mobile app. Now, let me caution you that this is a optional feature. Your company may choose to use it or not use it at their discretion. So if you do not see punch in, punch out functionality when you're using the app, don't worry. It's not your fault. It's simply because the company has, your company has decided not to use this capability. So I'm already logged into the Zuber app and uh, we're looking at the, what we refer to as the dashboard page. This is the page you'll see when you first get into the Zuber app. You can also access the dashboard page when you're at other areas in the Zuber app by clicking on the menu icon in the upper left corner, the three horizontal bars, and then just selecting dashboard as well. So we can punch in for the day or punch in for a shift or whatever is appropriate, and it will punch us in and start keeping track of the time. Now, when we're ready to punch out, we can punch out in either of two ways. We can punch out for the shift or the day, or we can punch out to take a break. So let's uh, say we're going to take a lunch break. So we'll take a break and the system will put us on pause for the current work day. And uh, when we're done with the break, we can simply click on resume and we can say resume work and it will start the clock again. So we're keeping track of the time. And when we're done for the day or for our shift, we can simply click on the stop button here and it will punch us out for the day. When we do that, we also have the option of indicating whether we had a good day, an okay day, or a bad day. So we're going to say for the sake of argument that we had a good day today and we'll punch out. And now we have stopped the time clock, so to speak, and we have punched out for the day. So that's a brief overview of how punch in, punch out works. Thank you for listening.